everybody, it's Ian from Nerdmake with this week's new releases. If you're interested in some bits more than others, there'll be some annotations below that you can skip to. Let's start off today's fabulous news. We have something I'm sure all of us have been talking about for a while now. You know it, you love it, it's Pokemon Sun and Moon! Coming November 18th, 2016, releasing on the Nintendo 3DS. This game has sparked a lot of attention and fan interest after the successful release of the previous Pokemon Go app. This game will take players to the region of Alola, which one Shigeru Omori stated that the developers took a trip to Hawaii, specifically Kukui, in order to come up with a design and idea. Now, if only they could inform us what makes the giant palm tree a dragon, but not everyone's favorite couch potato Charizard. I mean, I only use, like, Megastone X because Charizard can turn into a dragon. I mean, come on. Furthermore, there's been information regarding new mechanics in Pokemon Sun and Moon, including Z-moves, Pokemon Global Link, Hyper Training to max out Pokemon levels, and Battle Royales for up to four players in a free-for-all. It's certainly a lot of things to look forward to in the upcoming game. Now get ready to dust off your running shoes and pull out that bike that you can only use at certain times and places. Pokebank is back in the Alola region! And with this bank, you'll be able to transfer Pokemon that you've caught over the years. Oh boy. Some poor little starters are gonna get, I don't know, benched because I got my level 100 Kangaskhan back! Now, put on your spacesuits and power up those thrusters because there's over 18 quintillion planets to explore in No Man's Sky. This amount is to be specific to... 18 quintillion 446 quadrillion 744 trillion 73 billion 709 million 551 thousand 616. And that is one heck of a lot of planets to explore. In recent news, someone has claimed to have beaten the game in less than 30 hours. And let me just say, folks, that reaching the center of the universe is not the point of the game, but rather a player goal. It's about the journey, not the destination. It's about exploring. Now, however, back to some facts. This game has been recently pushed back to an additional three days on the PC, which broke down one of our poor script writers and is now proceeding to slam his head against the wall for quite some time. However, this does not affect all you console users out there. No word on why, but certain sites say that PC users in America are receiving the game the same day as the UK. More on the indie gaming community, and for you space lovers, look no further than Duskers! This game is roughly a throwback to the good old days in gaming, and feels like a horror puzzle type of game. Instead of throwing your skin to save others from a derelict ship, you have a little drone to do it for you! Instead of simple controls, the game requires you to input text commands, like in the days of old. A good time passer for any fan of sci-fi horror and unique puzzles. And lastly, indie news for you music lovers looking for a fun way to pass your time, check out Melody's Escape. It's a game much like Audio Surf, except for one unique standing point. The game's claim to adjust itself according to your music library. That's right, apparently you can upload your own music to run a gauntlet of fun to MP3, FLAC, iTunes, OGG, and more. One part that we found interesting was that even if you were to mess up on an action in the game, your music keeps playing. So it really keeps the sense of relaxing gameplay in mind, and wouldn't really be something you'd play in a competitive multiplayer mood. Are you sick and tired of zombies this and zombies that? Well, get ready for something that may just pull a last of us and give us more hype for the genre and the game, known as Days Gone. Now, there hasn't been much on the game beyond an E3 trailer and some extended footage let on into the internet. But this game turned zombies into what they should have been. Massive hordes, environments that can make or break your slim survival chances, scavenging for actual useful items like in The Last of Us. Realistic sense of terror as the overwhelming numbers make you focus on not getting caught in the corner. It's all about one heck of a ride some of us on the team are eager to check out and see if it will be the prodigal son that will give the hope to the genre of zombies! Or the final nail in the coffin to seal its fate. Okay, so that wraps up the news so far this week. Subscribe and stick around for more news, discussions, and reviews on all things nerdy. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video and leave a comment down below. What are your thoughts on the upcoming games? How has the universe of No Man's Sky treated you? 
the realm of indie games, and your hopes for if Days Gone can help save or break the zombie genre.